stain. There's a stain on my shirt. Better? Anyway. What's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, I just wanted to do a little quick video talking about our new products we have available on the site. Um, some new stuff and then some upcoming stuff that we'll be um, bringing in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. First we have the Herp Cult. This here is the Herp Cult um, tall and small enclosure. This one we will actually have on our site hopefully within a week or two. This one is actually being used right now by our jumping spider Quora, as you can see there. The other two that we use are actually made of like a Tupperware type material. They're a little bit more um, lighter weight plastic, but that makes them more durable and lighter weight. Uh, and also a lot cheaper. So we use these actually for um, our breeders. Um, since we're gonna have quite a few jumping spiders, you know, it's a little more cost effective and easier to keep them in a container like this. Keeping them in something like this guarantees that they will not come through, um, or not come through, but actually web up on the top, because uh, that is a problem um, when having a sliding lid. You know, if they web up top, you can't slide that open. So this actually has a flap. Um, so does our small here. This one also has a flap. So, like I said, these we use for the breeding spiders, and uh, this the smaller one will be used for our slings. Um, and we actually have some of those. Uh, actually, let me show you how those look. So, this is the size of the box, uh, and then this is the size of the bigger box. You can see the size difference there. Now, this is how we use these here. It says Cora number two. This is her second uh, clutch of eggs. But as you can see here, the spiders are all just kind of scattered within. There's a paper towel. For these, um, usually what I'll do is I'll take these holes just to make sure that nothing can get through. And then I will go through and poke needle holes through these just to make sure that there's enough ventilation. Same thing with this side, and then same thing with the top. Um, I actually put some tape because there are small cracks on the very top. They're very tiny. Um, smaller fruit flies like uh, uh, Melanogasters may be able to get through there, but Heidi cannot. Um, so most of my containers, actually, I have a piece of tape there just to keep the lid down and secure. Uh, it does stay down by itself, but I mean, you can never be too safe. Uh, and then here you can see how our slings are stored. There's the little guy right there with the wet cotton ball and then some flies. I think there's still some. Oh, she, she ate them all already. He or she. Um, so that's our basic setup for our slings. It's very, very easy, but it gets the job done. And I find that separating them actually is... Uh, is a lot better uh, it's, it's more beneficial separate to vent you benefit more by separating them um, than keeping them in groups so these will actually be separated uh, pretty soon I think probably within the next couple of days let me turn on autofocus here there we go so yeah these will actually be separated within the next couple of days uh, probably over the weekend they're getting pretty close. Anyway, so breeding and all that, sling care will be for another day, but these are just some of the uses of these small spider boxes. We use them, um, you'll see them in some of my other videos and on Instagram. They stack very nice and neat. The big ones also stack the same way. So yeah, these are pretty great. Like I said, very lightweight. Um, so I'll pull up the website and it'll show the dimensions. Um, so the large spider box is three by three at the base and four and a half inches tall at the mouth, 
the lid area. It's three and a half by three and a half. So this one is, um, obviously this one's gonna be for your adult spiders, jumping spiders, anything that'll web up top. And then for the small spider box, it's two and a half by two and a half at the base, and then it's very, it's not very much wider at the top since uh, it's, it's, you know, it's not very much wider, maybe an eighth of an inch or so. Uh, and this one is just over an inch and a half tall. In fact, why don't we do this? We have here, yep, yeah, inch and a half, just over an inch and a half there. So, but so yeah, there we go. That's our little collection of boxes and enclosures that we'll uh, have available on the site. As you can see, the Herp Cult enclosure is just beautiful. Um, it's crystal clear. It's a little dirty right now because I did have to dump it, tip it over to empty a bunch of the dirt. But it's not too bad. Oh, she's moving. It's not too bad for uh, being a very affordable enclosure. Now this one on our website will probably go for about 15 bucks, um, which I think is a pretty good price for what you get. And we are actually going to be, I talked about this on Instagram, but we're going to be developing a ledge, a magnetic ledge, similar to the ones that Crested Geckos use for their food. We're going to actually develop one um, and we'll be selling them. You can use those in any enclosure, it doesn't have to be this one, but um, you know, it's going to be designed specifically for this one, but it should work with any enclosure that is long enough, you know, wide enough to accept it. So yeah, there you go, our three boxes that will be available on the site. Now Herp Cult actually um, makes a couple of other enclosures that I may or may not make uh, available on the website. I have a couple of them. Um, no, why don't I grab them and then we'll and then I'll show them and then we'll see what you guys think if they're usable or not. These are the other enclosures that Herp Cult makes. What I have in here is a wolf spider, and then down here is a woodlouse hunter. Um, they're pretty, they're, they're hidden all the time, to be honest, but it's two different enclosures. They stack very nice. Um, you can see here I actually taped the top because I had some slings in here, but those are gone. And actually I taped this one uh, to maintain the humidity so I use a lot of tape on on my enclosures just to you know make adjustments, whether to make whether it's to make the hole smaller or to just to maintain humidity. And here is the other one. So yeah, these just slide open from the top here. Both of them are the same. So there you have it. Those are our enclosures that we will have available or currently do have available on our website. I think the Hurt Cult ones would be great on desks. That's why I bought them. Uh, just because they're so nice and sterile and clean looking. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, these are all available on the website or will be available soon. So there you go. So hopefully that was informative. You got an idea of what we have on the website. Um, and home, if you have any questions, just comment below and hopefully we can answer them. Like I said, all the descriptions and the information is available on the website. Uh, go check them out. Thanks for watching.